All right, let's be honest. The Google Play Store is pretty much the first app that every Android user opens whenever they switch to a new device. And users also frequently interact with the Play Store to download and update apps and games. Unfortunately, even after all the updates, the Play Store still continues to be buggy and just fails to work many times. Now, obviously, you can go ahead and download an APK of a specific app you want and just install it, but that's a very tedious process. Especially if the app is available on the Play Store, right? Why would you want to download the APK? So in that case, if the Play Store on your Android phone is not working, then this video is for you. This is one from Guiding Tech, and in today's video, I'll show you seven very simple fixes for how to fix the Google Play Store on your Android device. Let's get started. All right, first things first, it's a very simple one, just restart your phone. I know it's a basic trick, but worth trying before we move on to advanced troubleshooting options. Simply long press the power button and tap on restart to reboot your phone, and chances are your Play Store should work properly now. The next thing that you can try is force stopping the Google Play Store and then restarting it once again. To do that, locate the Google Play Store on your home and long tap on it. Now tap on the info button and go to the Play Store info menu. Select post stop and the OS will completely stop Play Store. Now just try opening Google Play Store again. Now over time when you start using Google Play Store, it collects a lot of data and basically builds up a lot of cash. This cash can actually prevent you from downloading and updating your apps. So it's always a good method to just clear your cache every now and then to ensure that the Play Store is working fine. To do that, once again, open the Google Play Store app info. Now go to storage and cache menu. You can see the collected cache data from the following menu. Just select clear cache. You can now open Google Play Store once again. Now if clearing the cache for the Play Store does not work, what's next is that you can try and clear all of the data for the Play Store. Now keep in mind that when you do this process, you will have to once again log in with your Google account and set things like set up your payment methods once again. But as long as things work, what's the problem, right? To do that, head over to settings on your phone, go to apps and notifications and tap on see all apps. Now select Google Play Store from the following menu. Select storage and cache and tap on clear storage from the menu. It'll give you a warning, just tap on OK and you're good to go. Now another trick that a lot of users have said has reported to be fixing their problems with Google Play Store is to just disable the Google Play Store and then enable it. To do that, open the Play Store info menu and tap on disable and then just shut down the Play Store on your Android phone. After that, just enable it again. Now try to access the Play Store again on your Android phone. It should open usually, but if not, let's try the next method. Now this next method is most relevant for phones that have very low RAM. Basically, the thing is that if you have a lot of background apps running, well, the Play Store just does not have enough space to well, run and also download apps or update apps. So basically, your RAM is kind of the bottleneck here. The solution to that is simply by clearing out the background apps. If you have a good amount of apps and games open in the background, you should just close them to make space for Google Play Store. This is fairly easy, just open the recent menu and if you have a clear all option, tap on it or you can just manually swipe them away to clear space in your RAM. Now, if all of that failed, well, here's something that should definitely work. See, Google usually updates their Play Store as well. Along with all the other apps, the Play Store itself does get updated. Now, one of those times, the app update in itself is pretty buggy and that could be causing an issue. I mean, I'm sure when you bought your phone, the Play Store was working fine and it must have been a recent update after which the Play Store just started like, not working, right? In that kind of a scenario, you can just uninstall all of the updates to Play Store, revert back to the stock version that shipped with your phone and things should hopefully be working fine. To do that, long press on the Google Play Store icon and open the info menu. From the Play Store info menu, tap on the three dot option at the top and select uninstall updates. And confirm your decision and Play Store will revert to the previous working build on the phone. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Vaughn from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.